Hi everyone, thank you for attending. Our topic for today is about buyer persona. So, I will introduce myself. I'm Shirley Fortunado. I am the owner of Fortunate Online Solutions, also the general manager of Filipino Online Professional Service Cooperative and a resource trainer for the IC. So, our objective for this topic is number one, understand what buyer persona is, two, importance of buyer's persona in e commerce and digital marketing, and three, learn how to create a buyer persona. So, why is it important for you? To know your buyer persona and where can you use it so buyer persona are fictional generalized representation of your ideal customer so they represent your customer so that you can understand your customer and also your prospective customers better and it will make easier for you to tailor content to the specific needs, behaviors, and concern of your different customers. Buyer's persona can help you to have focus and clear understanding. So buyer's persona also allows you to map out and create highly targeted content and allow you to personalize your target, your, your marketing for different segments of your audience. So let me ask you, do you know your audience or not? If you are just new, if your company is new, you can research for your buyer's, buyer's persona by interviewing customers, competitor that you know. So that you can have a a grip, a tight grip on your buyer's persona. So if you have a product, you can research for your customers, their good and bad, the good, uh, the good things that they experience and the bad things they experience. You can research that. And also you can interview prospects. The prospects are the customers that inquired before and for referrals, these referrals are your possible buyers and third-party network like uh, Facebook where you run ads so you check the, uh, the Facebook ads analytics and you can know your buyers persona so who can act on your idea they are the doers the doers are the affiliates or the dealers because they can organize, they can assemble, uh, decide, and gathers. And also, the influencer. The influencer are your satisfied customer. The influencer can adapt, can empower, and promote you. And the uh, suppliers are the ones supplying the things that you needed for your business. They can, be, can also act on your ideas and also the innovators. So the innovators are the one who are like, like for example, somebody asks you to do a specific product for them. So they are called the innovators. They are pioneer, they create, they discover, they invent opportunities for your business. Who is your focus audience? The focus audience, you have to check for example, in politics, if they have the power, they, if they have the influence, are they the decision-making body in the in the politics? So in filmographics, you have to check uh, the number of employees, uh, the revenue size. You have to check the companies where they are working for. In demographics, you have to check their age, education, ethnicity, gender, and geography and their ethnographics what are their social needs you have also checked their cultural needs in psychographics you have to check their personality values their attitude their interests uh, their communities and their laps their lifestyle so you have to visualize now your target audience you have to visualize them you have to 
have to visualize their facial expression, their clothing, what they are thinking about for you to know them better. So these are the buyer's so, uh, persona example. There are many kinds of buyer's expona, ex persona that you can see in the internet. So I'm showing you some of the, sam the examples that are available in the internet so that you will know that there are different kinds of buyer's persona but uh, they serve the same purpose for you to know your audience. So, so like this, this buyer's persona is for Rachel. He is a, a, she is a stay-at-home mom. So it has the lifestyle, their challenges and pain points, where they where do they go for information, their background, their business background. Um, you can get this information to have a glimpse of your buyer's persona. And this is another example of the buyer's persona. This is a coffee marketing persona. So our persona is Sarah the student. So sabi, I need to be able to push, to go somewhere to relax, refocus, and get inspired without breaking the bank. So it is more detailed than the other buyer's persona because it has uh, it has daily life of Sarah. So what it itemizes what she is doing in her daily life, also her background, her finances, her online behaviors, what she is looking for, what influences here, what influences here, her, and uh, brand affinities, her hopes and dreams, her worries and fears, and what makes her life easier. And this is another virus persona example. He is uh, the tra transformational leader. He is the CIO, technical decision maker. He develops IT strategy and so on and so forth. So these are his key attributes, his attitude, his reputation, his job focus, his pain points, also the keywords used to search for information, values, fears, pet peeves, internal influences, motivators, information sources, and so on and so forth. So, forth. so another virus person example, uh, we have the demographics, values and goals, experience you want, the problems, the role level of seniority one day in, his, in her life, her info sources and watering holes, her common objections. So, it is also detailed virus persona. It's up to you on how you want to have your virus persona. For but for this for this topic, we can go to HubSpot Make My Persona. So you have to click this one and put the details. So this is not hard. So if you want to learn more about virus persona, you can click learn more. And you can also make your own personal, make your own persona for your business. So you have to click create new. Um, then you have to check for an avatar that you want. This avatar will represent your persona. So I will I will choose this one. Uh, this one. I want this one. Okay. Then click next. Then you have to check what old are your possible client so you have just to drag this sideways so i'm thinking my target audience my target client is about 35 to 44 years old what is the highest degree or level of school your persona has completed so i can click bachelor's degree if my persona is high school degree then I will just uh, rest on this if 
my persona have a master's degree, then I will choose this. But I will choose bachelor's degree. Then next, their business. You have to select what industry they are working in. So are they in sales, finance, manufacturing, investment, advertising, bank, transport, etc. So there, there's so many industries here. So you have to click one. So I want to. State insurance and report of food and beverages. So I will check manufacturing. Okay. So manufacturing, if you have to check also the size of the organization, if self employed or what is an employees or living or 51 to 200, 201 to 500. I think my buyer's persona is 51 to 200 employees. Their organization is 51 to 200 employees. Then their job title. So job title, I think my buyer's persona is a manager. How is their job measured? So you have to put here how their job are being measured. So I think because he, she is a manager, then team productivity, productivity. Then next, who they report to? So they report to that to the vice president. Okay, vice vice. Press me then for production marketing. Okay, so you have to put here the characteristic, uh, goal first. So, what are their goals or objectives their goal is to to have uh, to have uh, um, to to improve status of living What are their biggest challenges? So you have to click their biggest challenges. And if it's none of the options, you can put here, then press enter. So navigating client relationships and communications. And okay, their clients is communication by problem solving and decision making resources, change management. So, how they work? Mm, so, I think they are using scheduling software, word processing program, email, project management, reporting software. I think CMS, they are using, also using CMS. So, how did they prepare to communicate with vendors of by phone, email? text messaging, social, face-to-face, -face, okay. Other consumption habits. What network do they belong to? I think Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn. Okay. So, how do they gain information for their job? Um, news. They use... workshops and seminars okay. the next so you 
have now your persona. So you have to name your persona. Persona it will be named Lori. So you can download this to export or you can copy this so that you can send this link to you can put this link to our task. So I will save this for now. And that's all thank you so if you have any questions you can find me at facebook and linkedin just search Shirley Fortunado. just shoot me a message and i will answer you thank you very much